you know, I think there were some good intentions about using the word warp speed, but I myself flinched a little because I know that people might think it's reckless because it's warp speed. It isn't. There are risks, but the risks are all financial risks. And that's what people need to understand. They're not compromising the safety at all, nor, their nor is there compromise of scientific integrity. When you do a vaccine under non-emergent conditions, there are various steps. And because companies make investments in this, what they do is they don't make an investment in this step until they're pretty sure this step works. And then they go to the next step. And one of the most important steps is when you start re you know, gearing up to make many, many doses. You're not gonna make an investment of a half a billion or more dollars to produce doses unless you know it works. So what this particular program says, we're gonna assume it's gonna work. So we're gonna put investment in preparing the sites for a phase three even before we knew that the phase one was successful. We're gonna be making doses even before we know it's effective. So what you're doing is you're cutting down on time, but you're not cutting down on the process of safety and science. So if you lose, the only thing you lose is a lot of money. Now, nobody likes to lose a lot of money, but we feel we'd rather lose a lot of money and gain four, five, six, seven months than have a result and have to wait four, five, six, seven months to get the vaccine.